Hi all, Eugene here with Darkroom Software. In this quick video, we are going to learn how to print a panoramic photo using the DNP DS820A printer and Darkroom Core or Darkroom Professional. So I have this image. It's uh, been cropped down to an 8x12. The image doesn't have to be cropped beforehand, but it already has. Um, so first thing we're going to do is close Darkroom. And we're going to go to DNP's website and we're going to hover over support and then hover over downloads and then click on drivers and tools and then we're going to click on utilities and software and click on agree and right here is the hot folder utility so we're going to go ahead and click on that and save it i've already downloaded uh, downloaded the file to my computer so i'm going to go ahead and extract all Okay, it's just about done. Okay, so here's our folder. We're going to double click on the hot folder print utility and install that just like any other program. If you get this message, we're going to go ahead and click on more info, run anyway. It is safe, it's from DMP. Okay, I have a message from my user account controller. I'm gonna go ahead and click yes. And I can see it's, it wants to install. We're gonna select English. Sorry, I'm using two monitors and messages pop up on my other display. Click next. I agree, install, and this will take just a moment to unpack everything and put it where it belongs. Now this utility, we're not actually going to use it, but uh, there are a few components inside the utility that allow us to print that panoramic photo. So we're just uh, installing it so we get those additional files where they need to be. Okay, and it is just about done. Okay, and now it's been installed. So we're gonna go ahead and click finish and we can minimize or close all this. We're gonna open Darkroom back up. And I have the 820 installed we are going to click on print sizes and we have 8 by 10 paper in so we are going to make sure we have oh uh, we don't have an 8 by 24 so we'll just go to the next size up 8 by 26 and it'll just crop just a little bit that'll be fine so we want to make sure that any size that we want to print using this paper that it's checked here Okay, next thing we're going to want to do is add a product that we can actually print. So we said 8 by 26, 8 by 26, and just to make everything go a little bit smoother, we'll set it as quick print. We'll disable that cost warning and click local, 8 inch prints. 8 by 26. Okay, so now that we've got the package added, it's 8 by 26. We are going to go to our photo workshop and we'll click on number 4 for that fourth package. And it should start printing. It might get a little bit loud, and I'll go ahead and record it so you can see the whole process. But if we go to our orders tab, we can see that it is processing. And it's now sent to the printer. And what's going to happen is it's actually going to make three passes 
like it normally would, but times three because it's going to print each color and then move to the next section. So it'll take just a moment and you'll see it start to come out. Don't grab the print. Don't pull it out while it's trying to print because the printer is still work, working. Wait until it's going to cut and, and uh, just catch the print. But And what I'll do is I'll let this record in, uh, in real time so that you can see the whole process and what to expect. So if we were going to use a uh, one of the smaller sizes, I believe there was, let's look at the options we have while well, this is working. If we were to choose one of the smaller sizes like uh, that doesn't require the three passes, uh, let's say if we had 8 by 12 paper, this would only require two passes and it would not take those three like we are with 8 by 10 paper printing 26 and there we go that is a 8 by 26 printed with the dnp ds 820a printer and darkroom core or darkroom pro you can also use darkroom booth to print this out but this seems a little bit overkill for um, a booth application but it can be done I also want to talk, say that you can do the same thing with the 620A, it's just because it's 6 inch paper, it is not as wide. But you can, if we switch over to the um, 620A driver, you can see that we have similar sizes, but based on 6 by so 6x16, 6x20, 6x24, which is very close to the size, just missing, missing 2 inches from the short end. But that uh, the setup for the 620A is identical. So there it is. Uh, that's what you can do with this printer and darkroom software. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you next time.